Hey, how you doing? This is Tyler with Lakeside Mushrooms. This is going to be how I install my LED uh, lights in my shipping container. So this is a six pack. I bought it off of Amazon. It's Verena LED. I'll put the link below. And it, uh, for, for a six pack, it's $44, so really good price. And uh, if you're doing a switch leg installation with these lights, you're going to use this little adapter it comes with. What is that? What do, you, what do you mean when you say switch leg? There's so probably... a switch leg is, um, so you're going to install a switch or, you know, your electricity. But, um, so out of that switch, you'll just run a wire going up to your ceiling, and then these come with a little adapter for that. So you just install your hot, your neutral, and your ground. And then this will plug right into there. And that's like basically the beginning light, right? Yes. So Because in this case, these run together. Yes. Which means you could just have one switch that operates all of them yes. off of that one switch leg. And this is how I got it down here to start out with. So this is how it looks right there. So there's the switch leg coming off the, the switch there, and then it runs into your box. Yep, and I just pulled off another outlet because this is only running like 3 amps maybe. maybe yes. Less. So I ain't really worried about it. Uh, Using the amps off another circuit. So as you can see, it kind of goes down here. But there's a difference, right? Because like we ran into this problem. Because with your operation, um, t tell me about the two separate rooms that you need. Yep. And sort of why there's a difference between the insulated part and the rib section and how we overcame yep. those problems. Yep. So halfway down, I'm going to have a lab and incubation space. And that is going to be insulated. I'm going to keep that at 70 degrees for uh, good incubation. And um, this halfway point is going to be my boiler right there with the 240 volt plug. And that's gonna be the walk-in cooler, the bagger, and yeah. That's, that's it, yeah. You just have an extra plug there for that one. But so, and so here on this shipping container, and they can see here, it's ribbed. So when you were putting up the silicone, you're using silicone, right? I'm um, using, it's called Loctite Power Grab. It's uh, one of their best adhesive glues. I don't know if it's got silicone in it or not, but that's uh, what's worked best for me. And so in this one, we were just putting glue on the six ribs and then running the light. Yeah. And how far across is it? Like, how did you find the middle? So it's, go ahead. Yeah, so the halfway point of uh, all shipping containers is going to be 45 and a half on the ceiling. So you want to make your mark there and then glue on each rib. <clears throat> and then you'll apply your light. And um, we'll go ahead and apply that. And you want to put a piece of tape. How we did it is uh, we put a piece of tape to hold it in place so the glue can settle. Yeah. Um, all right, so you've already, in, you've already put glue on this one so that we could set it quickly. Yep. But uh, can you show us, so uh, first talk about how did we keep these in line going all the way down and then show us how to put it on or apply it, essentially. Yeah. So I just did a 45 and a half mark and then you can use tape if your marker don't show up too good like ours is doing. So I just put a piece of tape, you know, a little strip will mark the 45 and a half mark. Then you just apply your light. And uh, you want to pull this cable tight, you know, so you can get the most length out of your light, or however you want to do it. I want to get the most length, so I have four foot of space on either side of the light set up. So that'll leave me with like 36 feet of light inside the shipping container, or 32. All right. But, um, yeah, so down here, this is the next one I'm working on. I'm just going to uh, plug it up right here. Does it work? We'll see. It might not, you know. Oh, it's on. Lord. And he said, let there be light. <laughs> let there be light, you know? And, uh, yeah, so. So, in this case, uh, where is it? We've got a piece yeah. of tape here yeah, that's telling us how to line right it up. The side of the tape is going to be my center point. So, I'm going to try to put this light right on the middle of that right side of that tape. Okay. So, I'm going to sandwich it up there now. And uh, my other tape over here. Ideally, you want two pieces of tape. And you've, you've already pre-put a piece of tape here, but what is this tape, this piece of tape being used for? Yeah, so this is going to be plucked right off, tape right up on there, so the 
light fixture you can hold to it. And uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and uh, get another little cable. Yeah. And so in this case, you'll be able to plug in the, the next light in line, yep. and then you would have essentially light all the way to the back of the shipping container. Yes, sir. We'll have one more light to go, and uh, that'll be done. This took probably about 30 minutes to install. Uh, so this was a pretty cool five-minute, six-minute video here. Um, what do you want people to tell you, or what, what would you like to plug at this point? How can people, you know, keep watching? Um, what is it that you want them to know? Yeah, I want y'all to uh, find this interesting, you know. Uh, if there's a hole in, you know, the information that, you know, uh, you, you know, you might need to make your own shipping container farm, you know, uh, hopefully I'm feeling that. And, uh, you know, let me know. Yeah. And so... Let me know. Yeah, give you, make sure you give this guy some feedback because he's doing some cool work here. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm just, I'm super, it's super exciting to see you accomplish this. And it's also very educational for people like me who are, you know, <laughs> I'm a dummy. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you know, I'm just 20 years old. I've got like six months of electrical experience. Uh, but really all it takes to do this, guys, is a whole lot of confidence in yourself. And, uh, you know, you can achieve bunch yeah so, so yeah. all right to... all right one last thing tell me about your again we're gonna keep plugging this because this is good what are you doing with your grandpa yeah uh so with my grandpa you know i seen him you know he's he's getting older you know and he can't really do a lot of the hard carpenter work that uh he used to be able to do back in his younger days so i seen uh um, a good point for him to you know work in a workshop and build the laminar flow hoods and so that's what he's doing, you know, um, that's been his business now. And uh, he's been able to make some money, you know, doing things that he can still do. So very happy about that. So if they want to support your grandfather in yep. building these boxes, how can they do that? You can uh, buy one. All They're right. listed on my website on Etsy. And uh, yeah. What is your website? Lakesidemushrooms.xyz. All right, cool. All right, thanks, Tyler. Thank you.